Hello everyone. Today we're going to be creating a work cycle in 3DX Max using a biped system. In this tutorial, we're going to break this work cycle lesson into three parts. The first part we're using the biped inbuilt full step system. The second part we're going to be using the motion capture data. And the third part we're going to be using the keyframing method to animate our character to animate the work cycle so first let's get started by loading in our character so I'll scroll down just look for a, a rigged character in my scene I have this character that has been shipped I've been using this character for my tutorial so you must have I used it for the physics tutorial physics modifier tutorial so this character I'll just select any parts of this character I'll click the footstep mode it turns yellow and by the way you can when the moment you click let me just make it the moment you click any part of the character bone and you go to motion panel that's when you see this this is the motion panel so I'll just go back and click my full step mode and that's on that biped then on that full step creation we have create full steps notes this one is at the current frame and this create multiple footsteps this is what we want to use and also beside it we have the walk we have run and we have jump so for now we are working on the walk so I'll just click create multiple footsteps and this opens up so we can by default I think usually have four number of footsteps so I'll set mine to 10 you can decide if you want it to start on the left or the right leg so I want I'll just leave the default I like the default like this so the only thing I'm changing is the number of footsteps to 10 so I'll switch this I'll click OK then this happens it creates footsteps on the floor like so nine footsteps plus this last one mixing it 10 so below the footstep creation we have footstep operation so this is where we create the actual animation by clicking create keys for inactive footsteps because these footsteps are inactive right now they are not active so the moment I click this the character snaps to the walking position and is ready to walk so the character walks based on the footsteps created like if I drag my timeline now you can see it places his leg on this one on the first on the first footstep follow and that's how it works so it, that's how easy it is for you to create footsteps in 3dx max so so easy you can see the way it works so so easy and probably you're wondering what if you want to get out of the footstep mode because now that you're in the footstep mode if you switch on auto key and you try to let's say for instance animates any part of the character it's quite impossible even if you switch off full step mode and select the bone and you try to rotate remove this like so rotate like this so what if after the whole thing I want to create an animation like I want to create a keyframe you it's possible for you to create keyframes in between but keys may not be set after the last few step that's an issue so to be able to create a keyframe after the full step animation we're gonna have to bake the animation onto the character uh, onto the biped to do that is quite easy all you need to do is go back to your full step creation mode hmm? and select all the full steps select the character bone go back to full step mode mm -hmm. so the moment I switch off switch this off switch this off this is where we're supposed to come out but it's still grayed out so by the time I switch back to my full step mode okay create keys for inactive full steps let me just shift, shift, shift it back so you don't have issues now that we're still in this position so now I want to be able to 
convert it so bake it into my character to do that i'll just switch off full step mode and the moment i switch off full step mode you can see this this one was grayed out before but the convert is now white so the moment i click convert it asks me this question if i want to create a keyframe create a keyframe per frame but i don't want that i just want the normal keyframe so i click ok and the moment i do that the key the, the footsteps disappear but I, I still have my animation you can see it just works in the scene and now i can easily add edit my character now i can see that the arms are snapping in inside the body and i don't want that so i'll just select the bone i'll go to animation on the layers i'll create a new layer and by creating a new layer you can see all animations all the keyframes have disappeared but we still have the animation so we created a layer over the previous layer and by creating a layer over the previous layer that means the layer on top controls whatever we do on the layer on top controls um stays there and it's not it's not overwritten by the one below so the one on top over overrides the one below but the one below still remains there so what we need to do now is switch on auto key and just space out the arm a little bit i'm not going to be going into too much keyframe here because still have a keyframing tutorial for this of um, the lesson so now by spacing the arms out and um, let me press play so now you can see the hands stay spaced out they don't go back in even if even when i just created one keyframe that's how powerful the animation layer is and we still have our previous animation you can see the red um the red outline we are seeing here of the skeleton shows the previous animation so that's how it works that's how animation layer works in my future tutorials we're going to be going into more of animation layers and how to make good use of them so that's how easy it is to create full steps in 3dx max just go to your click full steps blah 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 and that's how just watch this tutorial over and over again so i hope to see you guys next time when we create the and on um, the, the work cycle using emotion capture data that's also quite easy but i'm going to show you in the next part of this tutorial so i hope to see you guys next time don't forget to comment and subscribe i release tutorials every week so i hope this this was helpful see you guys next time bye